And I wanted to let everybody know that we're late for the live because of the discussion in here about the Murdoch trial. <laughs> Hi. Um, yes. No, we were discussing it. We we're discussing it. And that's fine. And we'll discuss it with you guys, too. Hello, everybody. Um, so it's nice to have Kevin in on a discussion. Yeah. Uh, we watched uh, Buster on the stand today. And um, Kevin mentioned something interesting, right? That they asked Buster, what does this sound like? I did him so bad or they did him so bad. And Buster said, it sounds like they did him so bad. But nobody asked Buster to watch that Snapchat and say, is that your father's voice? Mm -mm. Hi, Foxy in the Boxy. You, you all need to be concerned that he's possibly going to be not guilty. Oh, I don't think so. Hmm. I, don't know. I mean, I was thinking, you know, they also showed the phone, and I'm saying, okay, the phone is what has me connecting him. But again, it does go back that there could be someone else that did it, and he got rid of everything. It shows he was there only. It don't show that he killed him. Right. Yep. So. That's all it shows. Yep. So I don't know, guys. Um, they had Who's that 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 uh, what their the defense um, that accident. What was he consultant on accident scenes or something? And he was basically saying, "What are they looking for? A little person, <laughs> right? Because the mm -hmm. person has to be so short. There's no way. How tall? Yeah, you know. But here is my problem. This guy is supposed to be this expert, and he's supposed to have measured him, but he didn't know whether he was six three or six four. Right. That's an inch difference. So, yeah, that was weird. Um, but Buster, I mean, did his testimony change anything? No, he's his son. He's, you know, he said that he got bullied that, after there's the... Not, there's not even a proof of time of death unless you base it on the defense on the corner he said one to three hours prosecution never even put through the time of death right but the video okay, now, I'm, now i'm gonna join my people in the chat oh, okay kevin thanks for thanks for weighing in all right kevin <laughs> right have been saying but it doesn't negate the fact that the data shows he had her phone he threw the phone out the window it was traveling with his vehicle okay the snapchat video shows that he was there you can hear him in the background saying good job Bubba you can hear him plain as day right uh, right but again but again that's like what I said yes he was there but could you say that he had somebody waiting in the wings and he just was ready to get rid of the stuff and go. Okay, well, that's not the defense's argument. The defense has a weak argument. They're, they're not putting him at the scene of the crime at all. So that's a very weak argument. The defense isn't He's there. Saying, is there. But the, the data and the Snapchat video proves otherwise. Proves he was there. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, I mean, there, but that... Mm. I don't know. And then, and then, oh, the other problem is now another juror got replaced today. So you've got to hope those three alternate jurors were really paying attention. Yeah. Okay, because you've got three three alternate jurors on that jury now. Thank you, Foxy and the Boxy. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, because we... I didn't get to share it out even on my own pages. So it's crazy, yeah. Um, but, yeah, let's see. Let's see, let me get a uh, picture of Buster here on the stand. The father was like very proud of Buster being up there. And Buster said he's been in court every single day for his dad. And why are you so big up there, Buster? Buster! Okay. Let's see, let's just go through a quick recap of what he said. They asked him, he talked about where he was born, where he grew up. He was born in Buford, grew up in Hamilton and Moselle. They asked um, 
about Edis Doe. I know that was the prosecution said. Well, let me get. Let me finish that. Buster says he never loaded guns with buckshot or a waterfowl load combo that was used to kill Paul. He said he never loaded any guns that way, nor had any reason to do so, and he wasn't aware of anybody that ever did. Buster, at the summer of 2021, was splitting his time between Columbia and Rock Hill. Paul, we know, was at the University of South Carolina, and remember his father said that he was looking to move into an apartment in Columbia then, right? Um, Buster said he had a good relationship between, that there was a good relationship between Alex and Maggie's father, who he calls Papa T. They would go on camping trips and they played a lot of golf together. Um, Buster also said his father and himself golfed after the murders. I think it was in August they were golfing together. Buster said family spent, he spent a lot of time with Alex's side of the family. His grandfather, well, this is funny, is called Handsome. Didn't there? That wasn't that weird. Handsome. My cousin had a dog named Handsome. And his mother, they, uh, they called her Am, Grandma Libby. They spent time with the dad's brothers, Randy, John Marvin, and their sister, Alex's sister, Lynn. They rented big houses for vacation, and they went to a river house near Okatai. Buster knew that his father, his grandfather, had you know was suffering with his health, and his grandmother was in late stage dementia. What else? He said he visited them often, and then the prosecution was saying, you know, or I, let me see. No, the prosecution asked him about Edisto and why was Maggie there, and Maggie was there because Buster said that she was getting. She didn't like looks she was getting, um, people looking at her funny after the boat crash. He said he was getting attacked on social media after the boat crash. So she just preferred to be in Edisto whenever she could. She didn't want to be in Hampton. And she started going to Walterboro as well to shop and stuff because she didn't like the way people looked at her. Let's see. He talked to Paul, I believe it was June 5th was the last time, and that he had spoken with his mother that day. They also asked him, is his mother having worked on an Edisto, and about if she would take dogs with her when she went to Edisto. Uh, Buster said that Alex used to be a lot heavier and sweated a lot and used to take showers at Moselle. And then about the pills, he said that uh, he recalls that Alex went into a rehab in 2018 for opioid addiction. And he said he knew of some other occasions when Alex would try to do a self-detox at home to try to get off the pills. He said his dad always seemed remorseful and apologetic about the pill use. And he found out a lot of it secondhand because he was away at college when the family would confront his father about the pills. After the boat crash, like I said, he got bullied and uh, on social media, and then Maggie ended up wanting to stay in Edisto more and more. They asked him if he saw a T-shirt of his father's on the closet floor. He said, I don't know. I don't remember that. And he said that there was only nine nights after the murders. He knew nine nights that his father spent at Moselle and him also. He talked about Moselle. He said... He would go out there, he would go out there hunting and stuff and going around the property. There was also a lot of uh, swamp land in that 1800, almost 1800 acres. He mentioned that. Uh, let's see, what else did he say? Um, they talked about it, if there was any abuse in the home or anything like that. No, no, he didn't say anything about that. Let's see, he was with his dad nonstop. After the murders, they stayed at Moselle till about 5 a.m. And then they went over to Alameda to the grandparents and he thinks he, sh he showered over there and he thinks his dad did as well. He stayed at Maggie's parents for a week after the murders and then Maggie's family went up to the family's lake house Let's see, eventually he went back to work in Charlotte. He moved back to Rock Hill. 
about safety. Um, Griffin asked Buster if his father ever had a discussion with him about security and safety, and Buster said yes. His father made an offer to him, but the state object to discussing this a self-serving hearsay, and um, that was sustained, so they didn't get to elaborate on that. And again, they didn't ask, oh, they showed him the one Snapchat with the father with the tree thing, and they said, what color shirt? Is that a sea foam? Well, he didn't say sea foam. He said, is that a foam green? And he said, no, it looks blue to me. And he said that Alex didn't wear a lot of Vinnie Vine's clothes, and you know, what did he buy a lot of new clothes? He said he had clothes spread out everywhere and he started to name all the places. Did he have clothes in his car? Yeah. Did he have clothes at this uh, Uncle Chris's house? Yeah. Did he close your grandparents' house? Yes. Did he? So he's saying his clothes were spread out all over the place and even in his car. And then again, they showed it that the recording of, you know, they asked him, did, it, did he say they did him so bad or I did him so bad? Of course he said, I, but then he didn't. Uh, they didn't ask about the other things, so that was telling. They asked about lights at the kennel, and Buster said if leaving the house at night, you'd probably see a bunch of lights if they were on at the kennels. And Buster said it's about a 10- to 12-minute drive from the law firm in Hampton to Almeida, where his grandparents lived. Buster pointed out where cars parked at his grandparents' house. Because remember, the caretaker was saying that Alex wasn't parking where he normally did, and he was in a different vehicle. Let's see. Buster said it's common to call the house at Alameda when you're arriving and let the caretaker know that you're there. And they asked him if he had ever been there at 6.30 in the morning. He said, maybe when I go hunting and stuff. Sure. He kept saying that for sure. 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 Um... It'd be useful to call and let people know you're going to be arriving at those times. Buster said he had no knowledge at all about what financial problems his father was in. And he said he didn't learn about it until September 4th. He didn't know that his dad stole 192 k from Chris Wilson. And he said he did not know anything about it. And then they asked him, did it make you upset that Paul would use your... ID and they kept objecting, he kept going back and forth, and finally they said, you know, answer the question. He said, or frustrated that he would use your ID, and he said, sometimes. Let's see what dad had on. He described the white t shirt and the shorts. He said that Blanca did Alex's laundry, but his mother sometimes did it as well. And then they got this guy, Mike Sutton, on there. That's the forensic engineer. That's the guy that specializes in investigating accidents and failures. And this guy was on for the longest time. Oh, it's a little bit of trigonometry here. It's a little bit of physics here. And he had all these PowerPoint slides with the name of his company advertised on the bottom. And uh, the, the people in the, the examples, they looked like so small compared to everything around them. It, it looked really odd, and they had these like laser beams coming out from them. And he kept saying, you know, it was impossible that even if there's somebody, is to, you know, even if you have this short person and they've got this on their shoulder, you know, he was going on. So he's making it sound like, here, let me show you what one of these look like. Okay. So, yeah, and just... They don't even look like represented. I don't know. They just look so weird, these. And it makes it look like there's a whole bunch of, like, silver-headed things there. It looks like a zombie attack. But he's trying to say, you know, look at this. You know, it would have to be so low to get through that doghouse, to get through that quail house. So he had a 3D computer visualization, and he said that, it demonstrates how the dog house, which was very close to where Maggie's body was found, is almost 180 degrees opposite the quail pen. And he said it's not quite that far of an angle, but it's pretty wide. 
and he said, the trajectory of a shot into the doghouse, it appears to go right over Maggie's body. A pile of cartridge casings are to the right of the bullet path, and he says a rifle would most likely have to be held at the hip or somewhere below the shoulder for either a 1.5 or 3 degree angle to work on the shot into the quail pen. Based on empty shell casing locations, he believed 1.5 degree angle is most likely putting the shooter standing right beside where Maggie's body was found. Although nobody knows where Maggie's body was when she was shot, right? Exactly. On the doghouse trajectory, the 14 degree angle tracked backwards almost perfectly so that it intersects with the likely location of the shot into the quail pen within about two steps based on shell casings. The weapon could have been shouldered for the downyard shoot into the doghouse and the origin of the shot is very close to where Maggie's body was found, he said. And he said that it's based on the model person that he used to scale the shot trajectories is based on someone who's about five foot two or a taller person crouching down at least. The model doesn't work if the shooter is taller. And Alex Murdaugh is about 6'3 to 6'4. Why, why is there that leeway? It doesn't even make sense. Sutton testifies it's very unlikely that Alex or a tall person made that shot because the angles don't really work. It would be difficult for someone that tall to make those shots. The gun would have to be below Alex's knee for the angle to work. And he concedes that the person could have been at an unreasonable shooting position to make the shots work, like on their elbows or in a sniper position, but the shell casing location didn't support that, he said. He said the most likely explanation for this shot into the quail pen is that, that the shooter is 5'2 to 5'4". He testifies it's very unlikely that Alex Murdoff fired this shot based on his height. Wait. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Sutton said he was also able to determine which buckshot pellet hole in the window of the feed room corresponded to the buckshot lodged in a pine tree outside the uh, feed room. From that, he stretched a string from the tree back through the hole in the window to the approximate height of the entry wound on Paul, and he determined again the gun mm. had to be held lower than at the shoulder. So the second shot to Paul and uh, Ken Kinsey's theory of a plus or minus 135 degree trajectory, Sutton believes the butt of a normal lane shotgun would have to be below the level of the concrete outside the feed room for the shot to have worked without stippling. And he talked about the acoustics and whether or not someone inside the house could have heard the gunshots at the kennels. The house to the kennels is 1,142 feet with trees in between. And Sutton says the military standard measurement of sound volume is a loss of six decibels for every doubling of distance from the muzzle of the gun. And uh, I'll spare you all his stuff. And he says that they fired one shot into the feed room at a ballistic gel test dummy. And then they fired another shotgun blast outside the feed room, the second shot. And then they tested, test fired the rifle. The 300 blackout was much louder than the shotgun. The rifle was 165 decibels, the shotgun 155 decibels. They tested the sound from inside the den of the house with audio monitoring equipment and Sutton listening. Sutton said he could barely hear the rifle shot, even listening closely. I don't believe that for it with the TV off and the house completely quiet. And he opined you wouldn't have to be, you wouldn't have been able to hear the rifle shot at all if the TV was on inside the house. He further said that they didn't hear the shotgun blast at all when they tested that. I don't believe that. Me either. Not Besides. at all. Mm -mm. And then Harpootalin had Sutton point out Alex's SUV didn't appear to slow down while passing the location where Maggie's phone was found. Harpootalin tries to have Sutton testify as someone could have thrown a phone out of a moving vehicle at 45 miles per hour. State objected, saying it's beyond Sutton's area of expertise. 
and this, the objection was sustained by Judge Newman. Arpudalin asked if Sutton has knowledge based on his area of expertise about headlights, and after some objections and stuff about that, he asked Sutton if he believes Alex or someone would have seen Maggie and Paul's body on the ground in advance of arriving at the scene. He said, I can't say what Alex saw, but he definitely would have been able to see Maggie and Paul's body before he arrived fully at the kennels. Okay, now let's see. Harpoodlin asked if Maggie's phone would have tumbled, rotated, rolled, etc. before coming to a landing in the woods and said it, it would have been traveling at 45 miles per hour when thrown from the window, which could impact how much it bounces, etc. He's confident it would have rotated. Remember, they're showing the picture where this phone is just laying there as if someone placed it there. But we know from the data that that phone was traveling at 42 miles an hour in that car so we know that it was carried from the crime scene in Alex's car. But yes, could he be just been getting rid of evidence? Doesn't mean that he shot them. He was there. Maybe he's just getting rid of evidence. Okay. Let's see. Now, cross-examination. Sutton noted that he never worked for the Murdoch's family law firm. He only worked opposing them. He was retained to work on the Mallory Beach boat crash case. Jim Griffin called him to work on the boat crash case to do an independent investigation. Sutton says as an engineer, he wouldn't speculate or assume to arrive at conclusions or form his opinions. Sutton says he's not an expert in firearms, shooting incident, reconstruction, or gunshot wounds, and he has never conducted personal tests of bullet trajectories once fired from a gun and ballistics at various distances, all testing within context of cases he worked on, None of the tests were peer-reviewed. He's also not certified by any outside trade or academic organization in any of those areas. And the state asks if it's fair to say that based on that, his opinion should not be relied upon. He doesn't agree. Prosecutor Dave Fernandez with the state brings up the charts of Alex's speeds going to and from Mizell and Almeida. He asks if Sutton can identify the exact point on the charts that corresponds to where Alex passed the location where Maggie's phone was found. Sutton can't because the charts aren't time stamped. So he tries to get out his laptop, review the stuff he um, had and the speed, but the prosecution won't allow it. Sutton reportedly confer repeatedly confirms no. He isn't able to definitively say which lines of the crash correspond of the graph correspond to which locations based on the lack of timestamps. So they went on and on about the guns and who was firing the gun and were you firing the gun? No, it was somebody else. Sutton noted the trees between the house and the kennels were smaller at the time of the murders than they were in January 2023 when he tested them, but he opines that the difference would have been negligible. Uh, Sutton agrees he's not a formal expert or certified in shotguns, shotguns, projectiles. Or he's never formally certified, but he has done a lot of personal testing. And let's see, it was just, um, they went over and over this. And Fernandez asked Sutton if he's aware that the side of the quail pen is, is made of a paper product and paper products can deform abnormally due to the softness of the material. Sutton says, yes, he's aware, but he wasn't able to determine an exact trajectory and had to work within a range based on disagreeing measurements. Fernandez keeps calling the five foot two rendering of the person, the 11 year old and the 12 year old taking jabs at the defenses. So he's saying an 11 year old mm -hmm. and 12 year old. That was a little bit. Uh, Crazy. So Sutton is adamant the trajectories only match if someone is 5'2 to 5'4 using the gun unless they were a bizarre, in a bizarre shooting position. What if the uh, shooter was kneeling, the prosecutor said. Sutton said it doesn't work on based on where the shell casings were are centrally located about 30 feet from the quail pen. Just for hypotheticals, the prosecutor asked, what if the shooter's 10 feet away, farther away? Sutton says in that case, the height of the gun into the pen would be about three feet off the ground. Fernandez holds a tape measure at arm's length, then kneels with the tape extended to three feet. It shows gun would have been right in line with his shoulder. 
With a shot into the doghouse, Sutton estimates a five foot two person. The gun would be 30 inches off the ground to account for the 14 degree angle of entry. Fernandez asked Sutton to say what the height of the gun would be if he added just five more feet to the distance, not where he placed the rendered person. The height of the gun would then be 47 inches and Fernandez extends that to 47 inches is and it's very near his sternum or underneath the armpit below his shoulder height standing in the courtroom so yeah okay uh, let's see fernandez has sutton admit all of his findings are just based on the assumptions that the shooter is standing in the same spot based on shell casing positions sutton agrees the shell casings could have been moved or they could have been bounced off things where to, to wind up where they did However, he's adamant that the shooter would have to be changing posture, in his opinion, to account for the differing trajectories. Sutton says the most likely scenario is someone was walking around shooting a gun and they were 5'2". Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fernandez yeah. asked if it's then true, all this yeah. is just Sutton's best guess since it wasn't there and since they weren't there and they have no formal experience in any of the fields he's opining. Sutton says, this is not a guess. It's based on scientific principles and evidence. He said there are variables, but you have to draw a conclusion based on the evidence. Fernandez says Sutton's best guess is a five foot two person did this firing from the same position. That is not a guess. That is my opinion. And I've tried to explain it to the court as best I can. Okay. Um, and then they, they were just standard. They, they went back and forth, got a little heated about all of that stuff. And Harpudalin had one of his law clerks stand up. She's five foot three, and he points out that she's not a child. <laughs> oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. And she's the murderer. No. Um, all right. Fernandez and redirect said Sutton had Sutton admit the shooter could have been located anywhere along the line of trajectory he came up with in his analysis. And Fernandez also had Sutton concede someone down at the kennels at the time the gun was fired could have heard the shots. And it adjourned, court adjourned just before 5.30 and it's gonna to resume tomorrow at 9.30. Now the defense said they'll probably be done by Friday, meaning closing arguments could start as early as Monday. And that's that. So they're looking for doesn't five the, foot two. Doesn't the prosecution get to do a rebuttal? Yeah. Well, yeah. They did. They did a redirect. What do you mean with this witness? Oh. Uh, they don't get one more stab at anything, so to speak. They get their closing arguments, but they get oh, to our... do a cross examination of any mm. of the witnesses the defense brings. Gretchen says the Snapchat proves he was there. Yes, yeah, it proves he was there. Um, proves he was there. Hi, Sarah. Okay, let's see. Proves he was there. Carolyn, Christine Micro has a, uh, an interesting theory in the chat. Okay. <clears throat> that maybe he was sitting um, on the golf cart when he shot them to be that height. And snow remover added yes, and Maggie was had tire marks on her leg. Yeah, good. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. did she really? Oh yeah, Barb. That okay. I thought she was talking about that one witness. They have a rebuttal when the defense rests, as Barb said, and then they'll have their uh, closing arguments. But the prosecution gets to go. Again, after the defense closes, then they get to go again. So they have the last word. Talk about the hand of one is the hand of all. Talk about the hand of one is the hand of all. What is that? I don't understand that. Hi, video reel. We need to take the camera off the wall of the ceiling. If there 
Your mommy wants happened. my feed wrath and she'll have it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're you're welcome to come up video real if you'd like. Who's who's being rude? Who's being rude? Is someone being rude in their video? Um, I didn't see anybody being rude. What we're going to do is watch the new Netflix um, documentary. It's going to drop, it's supposed to drop at 3 a.m. Eastern Time. Mm -hmm. And then all members and Patreons are welcome to join and watch the movie with us. So. You're welcome to do that with us. Um, I'll probably have to start a new Zoom because th isn't this one supposed to time out? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. When did? Yeah, this... we started a new one at eleven or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, it'll probably time out very soon, and um, we'll start a new one, and then I'll put the number out for the members and the Patreons. You were waiting for Alex to jump up and demonstrate how it all went down. <laughs> or, that's funny. Uh, wrenches come in all shapes. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. I have no idea. Nothing. Nobody's saying anything. I don't know. Do you want it? If you want to come up for the Aurel, you're welcome to come up and talk about your whatever you want to talk about about this. Um. But Sarah Moran, that's weird. I thought Sarah was, Sarah, weren't you a member the other day? What happened? No, no. That's weird. she was I thought you got a membership the other night are you in a different account Sarah Debbie all day who's Debbie all day <laughs> hello oh, Debbie, Debbie all, all day. day hi hello Buster is just <laughs> like his dad hi Carolyn did anyone notice Buster does not have a southern now accent why isn't she talking yes. hello Scooter oh, yeah, why did she you say hi to me because I was I was reading something in the chat, Scooter. Yeah, Sarah says too. She should still be a member. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it that it doesn't have you as a member? Oh. It doesn't, oh, doesn't it expired, expired today. today? How could that be already? It, it must have been a month ago. How do you renew? You Didn't just go to the join long. button. I'll I'll put the link in the uh the link in the chat. It's gonna be Nightbot's gonna put the link in there, so you'll see him. Kevin just did it, Nicole. Oh, okay. The stream will not be interrupted, and mommy. <laughs> I was so impressed with Buster. Oh, really? Yes, yes really, really. He's, he's so well spoken. He felt very cold to me. He felt very cold. Buster. Oh. Oh, yes, yeah. we had snow today, Sassy, and we're supposed to get some more, I think. Yeah, it was, he, there wasn't much emotion. No when one he, here, too, Sassy. About his oh, yeah, I thought he, he, wasn't was. showing, he wasn't showing emotion, but I just was very impressed with him. I really was. Yeah, but it was, well, he I'm only... I'm glad he wasn't up there bawling his eyes out and stuff, you know? Well, he was only reading the questions as they were answered, and he waited and made sure that it was allowed to be answered. I mean, he knew what he was doing. He, he's remover. a lawyer, so. No, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, snow remover, best of luck tomorrow. I know oh, you're going. Oh, actually, agrees. Prayers for, prayers for snow remover. They have some oh. tests. Oh, on the 23rd, right? On the 23rd? Yeah, oh, prayers boy. that everything is okay. good. Snow remover for you. What's going to happen? Uh, they have to go for some tests, I think, on the 23rd, right? So remember, I pray everything is 
great for your snow remover. Yeah. Oh, yes, prayers. Um, Christine um, says she agrees with you. She said, LOL, he's cold as ice, but educated. Very educated, yeah, but he knew how to answer the question. Does he work in the law firm? I like, well, they said he won't remember his dad asked if he was a lawyer. School. I think he was too. Was he not a lawyer? What does he do? Uh, yeah, uh -uh. His dad was talking to him about it. But is he in college? Hi, I have no idea. I don't know. Remember, he didn't he get Ooh. caught cheating? Hi, Rhoda Tillicalf. How are you? Gretch. I thought that was the brother. Oh, he cheated in college. He isn't a lawyer. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I take that back. I, well, I was impressed with the, the way he handled himself. Now I've got to find out he's a cheater. Well, what's <laughs> a cheater? They say. I want to lie down. Do what? Why do you want to lie down? No, I said, what a let down. Oh, what a let down. <laughs> he, he looks like his father, doesn't he? Yeah, I think that's what I didn't like about him. <laughs> Not so much of Maggie in his facial structure, Aaron. Mm -hmm. I wrote a telecast. I don't know. I'm looking at him kind of side by side. And... Oh, they do look Hi, Lindal. Lindal. Hi, Lindal. I see both. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Lindal. Hi, Lindal. I see both. Hi, Ashley. Hey, Sarah, there you go. You got it. Uh, you're a deputy rambler. Yay. Now, Carolyn, what's this show that we're going to watch? Okay, it's the brand new Netflix documentary called uh, Murder All Murders, oh, okay. a Southern, okay. um, what is it, Southern Family or something? And it's it just coming out tonight. Okay. The, Hi, uh, Frida Lee. Lee. Is that our Lee. other Frida? Frida Lee? Is it? Who was our other Frida? Hi, Hi. Frida Lee. Hi, Frida yeah, right Lee. Right there. Yeah, yeah but she wasn't 29. Frida Lee. She was Frida something. Yeah, she's there, Carolyn. But it wasn't Frida Lee. Oh, I don't know. It was another Frida. Hi, oh. Frida. Welcome. I love your hair. Whose hair? Yeah, Carol. he was kicked out of law school for plagiarism. Whose hair? Yours. How did you know I did it? You weren't even in the Zoom. Everybody here was it in the Zoom. doesn't matter. I can tell. <laughs> you weren't there in the Zoom when I was taking my shower. Everybody was marking my shower down and everything. And Kevin told me how much to mix and, and maybe, I don't know. I'm just and she even left her camera on, Scooter. Huh? She even left her camera on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you knew I was doing my hair because I did my life hack. You did your what? I did my life hack. My garbage I, bag dress. I don't know what a life hack is. My garbage bag dress. Oh, yes, I know from your video. So then you knew I was going to do that. I don't have to dye my hair yet. Maybe when I get older. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I just saw came up in my shorts? That that video about the flying squirrel with you and Carolyn and everybody was saying goodbye I to it. Popping up in my feet. Every and Luke's day. going, look, Allie, this is for you. There's Scooter over there. Luke sounds like such a little baby. And there's Caroline. And, is it, and Ethan's like, is he going to live in that? Is he going to live in that? I'm like, no, we're going to put him in the big thing. <laughs> yeah, every day that pops up in Really? Mind. I just started to pop up in mine. I, I haven't watched it, but it's like, what? Why does this have to pop up every day? <laughs> so, yeah, there, so there's going to be a good documentary. We were um, going to even watch it earlier, so I hope that you can join us for that. Let me see here. We have to wait um, about 29 minutes. 29 minutes. But oh. like Buster didn't do anything. Like either way, he didn't do anything. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, what about when they, when, when uh, Harpoodlin pointed that rifle at the prosecutors? Oh, yes, he goes, boy, it's tempting. tempting. Yeah, that some people would freak, you know, like here, if you ever point a gun at somebody, oh, yeah. even, even in jet, oh my gosh. Yeah. It's oh, and, yeah. But the prosecutors laughed. I know. Oh, that's crazy. I wouldn't think that was funny one No, day. not at all. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I, I know I have a weird sense of humor, but not with that. Uh-uh. Yeah, I know. And Dave always does that. You know that? 
points a gun at you? Good oh my gosh, you know really? Yes. Oh my gosh. And I get so mad because, you know, my first husband, he was a police officer and he went to the academy. He knew, you know, came back. He would always have training and stuff like that. First thing he taught me was don't ever point a gun at anybody. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's not loaded, I tell Dave that all the time. And I think that's why he keeps doing it. Cause you know, my ex said that. And, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Right, Sassy Darcy. Damn it, Elizabeth. Aw. Did you see Snow Remover? Yes, I did. That's why I said. What did they no, say? She, oh, she they said, said something? Because I'm looking at something. Let me see. Yeah, she said, thank you for remembering. Even with all your problems, I appreciate it. Aw, thanks, so. It's really sweet. Never point, yeah, never point a gun at anyone. Uh -uh. Look, look, look at no. what happened to around me when that when that guy, of the, of the owner of that Western Hotel, shot and killed the bartender. He was just showing the gun and showing this guy, and then he shot her, killed her. Yeah. Our Pluto Lim was really bad. bugging you today? He only does it to me, so. You've never even seen a real guy in Barb Wilson said. Really, Barb? I, I'm a good shot, too. I really am. Not bragging, but. Definitely anyone in the state could have done a lot better, Kevin said. I think that, yeah, I don't know, it's, it still doesn't really, you could say, somebody could say, well, look, it puts him there, it puts him, he might have been in the car with her phone, maybe he was getting rid of stuff, but did he kill him? Oh, him? Yeah, Kevin is asking that the state could have done a better job. Oh, man, I'll be so disappointed if he does if he's not found guilty. Peachy, are you pulling our leg, Scooter? Oh my gosh, I'd be terrified. Oh, he'll do it real quick, Peachy Keen. <laughs> real quick. <laughs> he'll think it's, you know, funny when he's, you know, just for a second, because he knows how I get, you know? And I'm like, that's not even funny. You do not joke like that. And he's just sitting there laughing. I know Peachy Keen. 78 blood test of t-shirt. And they've never said anything about the clothes he had on in the Snapchat, have they? No, they can't find it. Because I'm thinking he wore those when he did it. What is video real? Is video real flippant? What what uh, video? They're being goofy tonight. Yeah, he is. Judy, you're lying down and listening. And LOL, Carolyn and Scooter, beautiful souls. Snow, you're in my kindest thoughts. It will be okay. Love and hugs to all who said, sorry, have to go. All right. Bye, Judy. Thanks for coming in. Yes, bye, Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy. Hi, the facilitator. That's the rototilla calf. I know. I just don't know how to say that. Yeah, just think about rototilla calf, like a, cow, like a baby cow. Rototilla calf. Rototilla oh, calf. Which is kind of, it's just kind of ironic. Yeah, I just thought that, the irony. You know the irony in that? Rototilla calf. Rototilla, that photo facilitator backwards is rototilla calf, a cow. Hmm. Video said he's not being a goof. He's just talking to you 
and die. Oh, okay, but you're saying like there was like I think you're just pretending there was a big altercation in the chat, right? You're just yeah. being goofy about that, I think. Hey, sometime can we look up some of those? I so miss this chat. I keep falling asleep early. So excited to see all you beautiful people. Well, you can come to the movie tonight. We're gonna watch the murder thing on Netflix. Is it a movie or a documentary? Documentary. I mean, a series. Documentary. Well, it's a documentary. I don't know if if it's how many things it is. It's because I already have Netflix. I was thinking it was on HBO. We watched the one on HBO, didn't you watch it? Right. Yeah. And do you know they played that one on CNN the other day? They did? Yeah, the one from HBO. I couldn't believe it. So I really? thought it was going to be the CNN one, but it wasn't. It was uh, no. the HBO one on CNN. It was really? so weird. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy was watching. He's like, did you ever see this? I'm like, yeah, I did. Oh, you got it? You got the rototilla calf? Oh, my gosh. Did you plan that out? Rototilla calf? Well, we're glad you're here, Pete. Are you threatening cows, uh, rototilla calf? You can't stay up late. Yeah, I know, Snow. Hey, snow remover, I've been meaning to ask you, have you had a lot of snow up there? Yeah, you can come. Sassy Darcy, you're a member of Patreon. Come. Come on now. It starts at uh, midnight your time. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, that's hopefully when it's going to drop. I'm I know, if you don't have enough snow, I'll send you some. It's snowing here. <laughs> I guess Biddy Abriel is talking to Scooter. Um, well, Scooter recently mentioned about God and grace and life. Scooter has been speaking about on her channel things that are coming. And then he says... Oh, uh, okay. That's what um, he... Okay. That's obvious, but it's true. I'll so explain, he, Peachy. He said, are you ready, Scoot Scoot? He was asking if you were ready for the things that you were talking about. What things were you talking about coming in? I can't remember. Well, my daughter called, so I got a little no, bit of... This was just a couple of nights ago when I was here on this channel. You said yeah. a couple of... Th oh, you... Remember you said, what, you think the end of the world's coming? Oh, or... yes, yes, yes. No. That? But I did mention a little bit. I'm yeah. Like, you know. Well, yeah. that's what talking about i i went back i was putting something up on, on poshmark but i went back and i looked at the chat and i read his comments and did I you get, sell I anything it. on poshmark yet yeah you did oh what did you sell anything on poshmark oh Nikki? no oh okay because mm -mm. i've got Not a bunch yet. more stuff I, I don't to know add how i doubt if i sold i i'm i don't remember i sold something once on there years ago oh yeah i gotta but, add some more stuff okay let's did. see i don't even know i guess i got it out to the person i mean i'm sure i did but i don't even remember like yes wrote it she'll be putting up right. lol right. mrb i had no I, idea it was just code mozart mm. are you gonna put an um pg king wants to know if you're gonna put a new number in the yeah community. yes yes no i'm gonna put a new number in the community post because we have to start a new live in a little bit in a few minutes that's what I meant, snow remover. Yeah, I know some winters you've had a it was lot just of the snow. Mozart code. And I just know we haven't had much here, so I was wondering how it was up by you in Canada, uh, whatever what? you're in. Aren't you getting a huge storm, Scooter? We all are getting. I know everybody else is. I want it. You're getting it. It says and snow was mine. And you should be getting it. It's all over the Midwest, so I don't I see why. I know. It's 34 here right now. And that's snow weather. But it said snow to stop, so it must be snowing. Hmm. I don't see any snow. Oh, wait, maybe. I don't see any, though. I'm just keep sliding in my chair. It's hard to see out this way, though. Why isn't this date working? Harder to prove their case. Sorry, this case has been wrapped up. Kevin's getting angry about this. I'm into it in two Kevin. about it. But, uh, but, it, it. but really, you just like, I mean, didn't you have enough of that guy with the five foot two? It's ridiculous. You, you, could, could, stay, you could stay could glued been, to that whole thing? He could have been bent over. He could have been sitting on the ground. He could have been anything. He could have been I was like, uh-oh, we're looking for now little person now. Kevin better watch out. Looking for what? A little person. <laughs> Kevin better watch out. 
I think Kevin's a little person. He could be oh, fingered for the crime. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I said, watch out now. They're, you know, all the little people are going to be hunted down now. <laughs> watch out, Kevin. I only have an hour left of today's. Oh, you haven't even I've finished been watching it? it off and on all day. What? I watch it on 1.25. Oh. For a while, and then I stop and I go back. When you came live, I have one hour left. Going all through the 12 year olds, you know. 11 and 12 year olds. 11 year old. 11 year old and 12 year old. Oompa Loompas on stealth shotgun. Yeah, the Lollipop Guild. Better watch out. The Lollipop Guild and the Oompa Loompas. Surprised he didn't make, can you imagine if he made on his on his on his rendering if he made an Oompa Loompa? Uh -huh. If he made an Oompa agree, Loompa Deborah. on the rendering. You can't hear me? Well I can now. Oh, I hear you. He's getting cut off. If he made an Oompa Loompa on the rendering. Oh. <laughs> right? An Oompa Loompa with the gun. Why didn't he just do that? I think it was a couple of Oompa, uh, Oompa Loompas and a member of the Lollipop Guild. Yes. Oh, or one of the Christmas elves <laughs> from Santa's workshop. Because uh -huh. remember, Alex said he knows Santa. So maybe oh. it, maybe it's somebody that had a vendetta against him from Santa. See, that would be something, right? Because he said on the jail phone call that he knew Santa. And Santa has lunch with him a couple of times a year. So maybe he ticked off one of the elves. Maybe he stole their money. And those elves came down okay. to shoot him. Very to shoot his family. Very to get back at him. Because right. he knows Santa, after all. People okay. have even wondered if the state has been influenced to not pursue so hard. People have even wondered? Hmm, that's mysterious. Aliens have even wondered. That would be Ooh, crazy. Ooh, look at snow on other channels. What is she saying? Snow said, yes, Kevin. I made that comment on another channel. What comment? Another channel, Snow? Hmm. Inquiring minds. Christine had two uncles with buster hair. They went all. I had two uncles with Buster and they went bald. Wow. I know snow remover. I was wondering that as well. Yeah, that is sus, right? And the, can you imagine if those like, they're probably like, oh, they're not going to take any alternates now. I can just nod off, daydream, right? And then they're like, 342, you're in. <laughs> I want, oh my gosh. Scooter would be like, but I wasn't paying attention. I have to say this. I feel horrible. I wasn't paying attention. I can't put somebody's life in my hands. I thought I was free and clear. You're right. <laughs> and you would do that too. I know you would. You'd be like, I can't. I, I can't do it. <laughs> Is there like cliff notes or something that I could get? Brought up to speed you over the weekend. I can use. Something. I'll, I'll study. I'll, I'll do anything. But I just I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing that stupid Candy Crush. I had it in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I thought I was out of it. <laughs> it just came to me such a nice time where I could play Candy Crush all day. And my husband thought I was there working on the jury. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm up to le I'm up to level five thousand eight hundred and sixty nine. Right <laughs> I play it while I'm listening to the trial. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh! That would be me. <laughs> I know it would. <laughs> And the judge would be like, you've been playing Candy Crush? Yeah, I'm sorry. I really thought I was not in the running. <laughs> Could we draw Candy another Crush. number maybe and I'll try to brush up on things? 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> my stomach's hurting. <laughs> oh. That is so me. It really is. No says her in video reel have been in 32 streams in 29 hours. <laughs> wow, video. I saw you say that earlier. Snow was in there too. What'd they say? He <laughs> said he'd been in 32 streams for 29 hours or something like that. Really, video? And snow too? <laughs> Barbels. <laughs> I was pretending to be a scooter once. Oh, that was good, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> And they'd probably pick her at the end of the day and she'd be ruminating it all day and then she'd be like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to tell him tomorrow. <laughs> I can't. Everybody knows the case and I don't. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, oh. Ashley, here's what's going to happen, okay? I'm going to start a new Zoom in probably three minutes. When the new Zoom comes up, I'm going to put the number on the community tab, and that's the number you click. And it's also going to be a number on the Patreon tab. Okay? And that's the number you click into for the movie. And we ask that um, you get your popcorn and your snacks and not be really noisy. And please don't leave a mess. Take your trash when you leave. <laughs> and no talking during the movie because Scooter will go out of her mind. Yes, I will. Make you have sure to be you muted. Make sure you put yourself on mute in the theater, and you <laughs> don't talk. You don't don't do any gasping like, <gasps> or anything like, oh, did you see that? Don't unmute you. Be like, did you see that? No, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and don't like be unmuted and be. <laughs> Getting some snacks. <laughs> you know what we were watching? We were watching those restocking your pantry videos. Sharon, Nikki, Kevin, and oh, Kevin, who else is there? Deb and Kieran and I. We're going, no, and Elle going, no oh, yeah. way. No way uh -huh. that someone is really yeah. doing this. Well, yeah, that uh -huh. was funny. Uh-uh. I can, yeah. I don't believe it either. And it's all like ASMR, like they take the M&Ms and into the into the thing, and then like all the little yogurts, and they stack them. Each one makes a noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just now heard some of my main chants be like poof, mind blow. Chants. I ain't cheap. Show me love. Please, and mommy hit the like button. You're not cheap video? Yeah, it should be a good movie, guys. Or documentary. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure it will be, I mean. It, no, it looks good. It looks at least, it looks like a little bit similar to the HBO one, but I think it's supposed to be better. Yeah, I, I don't care because I'm all into it, you know? Yeah. Mind whatever it is, I want to see it. I get it now. What do you get now? I don't know what you're getting now. What are you getting now? I think he's talking about... I get it now. I don't know what they're talking about. About the link, maybe, to watch the movie? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, but what I was going to ask you is, could we sometime look up some of those haunted addresses and, like, show them in here, you know, sometime? What you would know, you, you? Oh, the oh, haunted addresses? Yeah. 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 He said he's been to some of them. Oh, thanks, Rotatilla Calf. Enjoy the movie all. Smile. All right. So I'll on. start the new Zoom, but I'm still going to be, we're still going to be live, guys. Don't freak out. I just have to start a new Zoom because this one's going to end. So don't freak. Everybody's... Come, Rototilla. Oh, Scooter wants you to come, Rototilla Calf. Rototilla Calf, she wants you to come. 
Yeah, you should come to the new movie. Alex is guilty. Can we all agree? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah. I watch. I have to end the other meeting, which is going to spur them out. And they'll scatter like birds. Okay, now what I'm going to do, do the invite, copy the invitation. Now I'm going to post it on the community tab. Community. Paste. Oops, I almost forgot something. All channel members. It's not too late to get a channel membership or become a Patreon and you can come to all of our events. And we have events every single day. Okay. Now I'm going to put it in the Patreon. Get, get your uh, snacks. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do here is go over here and text. Okay, Nicole Griffith, I'm coming to the door in one second. And then I'm going to put it in Slack. Hold on. Just publishing on Patreon. Oh, I think we have a new member. Hang on. Oh, you gifted five, Snow Remover gifted five memberships. That was very nice, Snow Remover. Thank you. Okay, and we got, uh, looks like Case Files with Kendra was gifted a membership. Elizabeth W., Gretchen W., and Sweet Melody was gifted a membership. Welcome, welcome. Okay, and let me admit. And let me. Okay, you may join, of course, video reel. Um, let me go to Slack and put it, the number in Slack. And we will go over here. There we go. Oh, that's how I thought I got in from Slack. Maybe not. Here's Ashley. Here's Debbie Two Scooter. Oh, right. good. Hi, Debbie. Call me Debbie. Hey. Oh, under Debbie Two Scooter. Hey, Debbie Two Scooter. Debbie, hey, to Scooter. Hey, well, hello, Ashley. I go back and change it. Okay, ah, is, is everybody it. finding Peachy? Do you see where you get in? Carolyn, I had to come on the community because I could not find Patreon. I always have the heart on me. Oh, sorry. You know? Well, it's in Slack, too. Peachy, you have to go to the community post. Tell me if you can't find it, you can email me, but it's on the community tab. Let me know. I'll, I can wait for you to get in. Yeah, Nicole, how did you get in so fast? Oh, there's Peachy. Is that Peachy? Mm -hmm. Hi, Peachy. Where's Peachy? Peachy's oh, right there, Peachy. entering the waiting room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Hi, Peachy. You saw the five new memberships, mm -hmm. Carol? Yes, I did. It was very nice of Snow Remover. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Hi, Peachy. Hi, Peachy. Hi, Peachy. Hi, Peachy. I think you just got their microphone. 
Okay. Hello? Hi, Peachy. Hi. Hi. I made it. Oh you, my goodness. You did. Okay, I'm muting. Okay. <laughs> hey, <everybody. laughs> hey, everybody. I'm muting now. Hi, Ashley. Hey there. I like being able to stay up these days. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm excited to see this. Hi, Emmy. You're trying to figure it out? Hurry up because we're watching a good documentary. You just have to go to the community tab. Um, that's where you would see it, I think. And uh, if you can't see it there for some reason, you can email me. But I'll wait for you to see if you can get in. Yes, that was so nice of you, Snow Remover. Mm -hmm. It pops up on the community tab easily. And if it's easy for me, I know it's easy. It just popped right up. Yeah, just go to the community page. But sometimes if they have an iPad, it might not show on a community page. That's why I, I clicked. That's how I got in. But you don't have an iPad. Oh. I clicked on uh, just now on my tablet, and I don't see the community tab, but it's oh. listed under Kirk's. Emmy, are out. you in Canada? It doesn't matter what number you. Margo's in Canada, which they're saying what number for Canada. Yeah. Does it no, matter? No, I just click the top one all the time. Can you click the link? Just click the link, or or if you're calling in, you can call on any number. I think. Just the blue link, the top, very top one. Click on it. You might have to download the Zoom app. What 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 kind of device do you have? Oh yeah, snow removers in Canada too. I didn't know I made was in Canada. Where's Al? She was here. She's here. Is oh, she didn't get back in yet? Oh, I wonder if she fell asleep. Maybe she was sleeping. She's been up all day. Is she? I'm staying What's live. What's video's there? Boop, boop, I, I think boop, video's boop, just being in character live, tonight. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. He kept telling me earlier that he loved me. Really? Yes. <laughs> You're very lovable, Scooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So what, he's just out, I mean, is he really getting like tired, so he's getting loopy? After all I don't know. <laughs> loopy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I know I do when I've been up for a long time. The documentary starts at, it'll be dropped, should be dropped right now at 3 a.m. But we're going to wait for Emmy to make sure they can get in. I'm excited about it. I'm just going to look to see if it dropped on mine. I wonder if it did on mine yet. Please and thank you, Mommy. <laughs> oh, what about Humble Pie? Let me go and give him the number. Mean Hillbilly Pie? Yeah. Hold on a minute. Yeah, one episode is dropped. Oh, it's only one? It's only. Oh, wait. No! No, no, hang on. It's okay. Three episodes. Uh, okay, good, Margo. You're going to spoil <laughs> it for all of us. What's it called? Murdaugh Murders, a Southern Murders. Family or something. Oh, look, there's Kato. Yeah, I got her. I got her. Don't fight over it now, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kato. Oh, I see. It is here. Yeah, it is. I'm excited. 
Yes. Okay, calm down, everybody. <laughs> okay. Let's Revelation see. Wealth and Dark Sea. Yes, Jeanette, I was wrong. There are three. Jeanette, do you want to come tonight? Come, Jeanette. I'll send you, I'll send you a link, Jeanette. She never comes. I ever. know. She hates us. I know. Delightful Darcy's here. Yeah, I know. Video. I just made homemade guacamole. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Homemade guacamole. Hi, Darcy. Hello, everybody. How are you feeling, Darcy? Hi, Better. Hi, Darcy. Oh, that's good. Good go up. Okay. I don't have hundred percent, but much, much better. Thank you. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would be like without vaccines. I went to the Cayman Islands today. I know. Mm -hmm. That's what you said earlier. I know. Let me go. Okay, I got my carrot sticks and my guacamole. Oh, you're healthy tonight oh that's just oh i'll eat, I'll eat a, a snack that's not good for me after that don't worry <laughs> you'll eat what I'll, I'll eat a like some chips after that or something don't worry <laughs> some vegetables that you know oh emmy's here good yeah they got in hi emmy hi emmy Hi, I made it. You made it. Hi. 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 Okay. So let me uh, close Hello, out everyone. the live over here now that I think everybody's good now. Well, is, is everybody on. good? Jeanette, I sent you a link. Video Reel, I sent you the link. Um, come, come on in. Even though you should have it on the community page. Adventures with Beth, you want to come? You could. Uh, I, I could send you a link. I know you can't join the membership with that. You have the business account. I don't understand that, but. Let me uh, send you a link. I don't know why I won't let you have that. It's so weird. Um, don't I have? Why don't I? Why isn't your thing coming up for me under Jeanette your name? Said she will watch later after she is home after the hospital. Thanks, Mummy Ramblings blog. All right. Well, the link is good for the whole uh, next twenty-four hours, Jeanette. So you come on any time. Uh, what about Beth? What about Adventures with Beth? Why can't I find you in here, Adventures? Video reel is here. Why can't I find you, Adventures? Because I know your real name and... You know, I, ha I have it, <laughs> of course, right? Um, <laughs> She's right in chat saying, where are you going, LOL? Wait, Adventures with Beth, who's, yeah, send me an email and I can, and we're going to watch the new Murdoch documentary if you'd who's like to watch where? it. I'll who's give going you. where? What? We're going to the movie. I am here. I'm here with you. I do. Hello, everyone. I am here. I know you are. So am I, right? So Scooter. So yes, ma'am. Did you Yes, ma'am. You're so here. The link will be good for 24 With hours. With us. No one else. Oh, somebody's got their YouTube on. It's just Demi. That's not good. It's we'll okay. get a hashtag, ban them from this server. <laughs> that was probably Scooter. Look at her. That was a joke. If you didn't know, that was a joke. When somebody has feedback, you make a joke. That's just the joke. You're welcome, Jeanette. All right. Beth, Adventures, would you send me one, please? You're welcome, Jeanette. I'm here. Did you hear me, Jeanette, that Carolyn said the link? Y'all yeah, requested me for and Scooter to be words. live. Okay. Heard me again. I think I got cut off again. I think she, she heard it because she said, thanks, Mommy Ramblings. Um, I'm just waiting for Beth. Beth, mm -hmm. please. I'm going to type it in anyway. 
You better I was just going to ask who that was, but I see it's video real. <laughs> you can That's boy. right. Mm-hmm. L went night nights. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Way night night. Yep. The kind of night night that's not good. Mm. No, she went sleepies. Sleepies <laughs> night night. She was up all day. Oh, she said she didn't have a nap today, did she? Did you no, know? she didn't have any nap today. Wait, is it unusual for her to be up all day? Um, I think so. Yeah, she should. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. All day? Yeah. See, I didn't know that. Okay, I'm waiting for Adventures with Beth. Did you email me? That's all right. We're waiting. You're, ho you're only holding stuff. Don't worry about it. Do you want to be in here with me <laughs> and everyone else? Let's I just wish I could find case. your email because I know you've that. emailed me multiple times and I know your real name and I'm trying to... Look for it under that. You're welcome, Jeanette. Just want to make sure you heard. Um, isn't Kevin going to come? Oh, I found it. I found it over this. Okay, I'm yeah, going to send you the number, well. and that way you can come in if you want. I recently took Carolyn's advice, just so you all know. Okay, what's my advice? Just so you all know, I recently took Carolyn's advice. Oh, what was it? What's the advice? What advice? Um, over the years, she shared. Over the years, Carolyn has shared lots of things. Okay, that she's talked call. about. Beth doesn't know about me. loss and love and you. companionship. I just sent it to you. Well, then send me a new one if you don't get it, okay? Just send me one right now so I can send you the number. When Carolyn lost her son. Good night, everyone. Would you love to join us? She told... She pretty much just told the world how she felt. Right. She didn't have anything back from anyone. So... You all right, video real? You doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing good. It's the expression of freedom, right? The freedom of expression. Mm -hmm. Right, Nicole? Just speaking your voice and sharing your soul. Right. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure you're doing okay. That's all, you know. Every day, a lot of people take what Carolyn does for advantage. They say, this is what we're going to do. Was it young? To break her apart. But every day she's hmm. defining oh, she's a message. She's saying, this is who I am. And I'm going to speak up for that. So what time is this coming on? Soon. I just want to get Beth in here. As soon as the room gets in here. Just dropped 10 minutes ago. What's that? Oh, Kevin said the movie just dropped 10 minutes ago. Right, I'm just waiting for right, Beth to get right, the, I'm just seeing if she gets the email, if Beth gets it. But we can, we can start yeah, the movie. Yeah, go ahead. Right? Y'all take it from Yeah, there. we're going to start the movie in one minute. From, I, I just want to get Beth, Beth in here. Okay. And then and Kevin now. will probably be coming. Yeah. This is my first Zoom, so I'm new. Well, welcome, Emma. I know, welcome and you know, you said, let me see, she sounds like somebody. You know who she sounds uh, like? She's Canadian. Canadian. Do I sound like Canadian? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am. Do you say, <laughs> do you say A after, like, E-A? Are you Canadian, A? A? No, that's, no? A, that's, that's not for real. Some do, but, like, just like Americans say, they go, Canadians say, how's it going, A? And Americans say, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just backwards, right? <laughs> yeah. But no, a, a lot of Canadians do say that. I know. Yeah. What's up? They do. They do. Yeah. That yeah. was some a show tonight, eh? It was, yeah. yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> it's very common where I live. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
carry on. Everybody's today. excited to see this movie tonight, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Good day. Good day. Good day. Uh, who's who's from Ontario? Which one? Marco. Margot. Margot, yeah. who speaks about herself in the third person all the and time. She, <laughs> third person. she like always third does. Person, like a third person that doesn't Margot. exist. And well, she, right. she talks to herself and she calls herself by her name. Which right. She always says, oh, it's Margot's turn next. And uh -huh. yeah. oh, Margot has those things at those things that have to go out. Yeah. Well, we're going to Margot now. <laughs> that would be Margot's turn now. It's not fair. It's not fair. We love Canada. We really yeah. do. We do as Americans. I mean, like, you're a like, Y'all don't even know. Like as oh, Americans, I can't hear really you. Love Beth, them. are you uh, coming in? Us <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. well, Canadians, we love Americans too. So, I mean, we're you're at West, right? Yeah, Alberta. Alberta. Oh, Alberta. Okay. Did you? If you're in Alberta, in on this, join yeah, now. If not, then I don't know what to tell you. Because this is video real, and I'm live here with y'all now. This is the only way you can get access to my voice and communication with me. So if you don't have it and don't know it, this is the only way that it's going to be done. Oh, video. Well, okay. Are we privileged? It's limited access. That's all it is to say. That's the only way to put it. So I'm just going to tell you, I love you all. Every single one of you. There, look at that, those. Carolyn. No, but no, the only place you're going to get video reel, the only place you will ever get video reel is on Mommy Rambling's blog. I've been on over 100 channels in the last five years yeah. and the only place you will ever talk to me live and in person is in the mommy ramley's blog there you go what she wrote um alive? <laughs> yeah i'm yeah. just i'm yeah. just waiting yeah. for yeah. beth no. i'm alive. just okay so just send me somewhere i can send it oh how about slack you're she's in slack isn't she <laughs> why don't you get the number in slack it's not fair join us if you don't we're here waiting. Um, Barb Olson, are you coming in? Yeah, there's three three from Alberta. I hope so. I hope so. Barb Olson, are you coming to the documentary? Come on in. You might be under the snow. Oh, it's cool in Canada. Does that count? Yeah. No, come on in. Just email me with whatever email you can get into. You are a member. You are Email me with your us. Yahoo. Come on. This is what we do best as we talk. Carolyn at truecrimechat.org. Just email me, Beth, and I'll send you the number. And, Barb, are you coming? Did you see the number? And, by the way, if you have any hate mail, it's at twoskittershake at gmail.com. <laughs> okay, try now while we're live so I can help you, Barb. Just go... Just try it. We've got on. many Canadians in here tonight. You'll be a month. You. Come on. I never knew Emmy was in Canada. She might oh, yeah. Need a oh, yeah, need from the very double. first moment. Like, she represented. Well, no, I mean, I, she's been in our chat for some time, and I never knew she was from Canada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you sing that? And Scooter's always oh, complaining Canada. about not being Isn't able to hear. Isn't it like Christmas hear. tree? Oh, now Canada. Now she's like grabbing her ears and going, I can hear you. I can hear you, video real. It's real. <laughs> oh, Canada. <laughs> there you go, Sassy. Okay, <laughs> we're waiting on Beth and Barb. Two Bs are giving us a B. Beth, yeah, are you coming? <laughs> okay, email sent I'm from Barb. Oh, okay, Barb, hang on. questions from me or Mommy? Scooter, Nicole, or anyone, we're here. Barb, did you send it to the right yeah. address? Unfiltered access. Unfiltered. Yeah. Barb, if you know how to access right. a community, to oh, here we go. Okay, Scooter. I got Beth now. Hold on, I got this Beth. And now I need Barb. Got Beth, need Barb. People keep saying I don't do it enough. Okay, two scooter chick at gmail.com Barb, I don't have your email if you can access the community tab the number's there but 
Otherwise, try the email again. Just click more. Where, where it says see perks, just click. It's right under the perks. I'll check the spa uh, spam. Oh, I got it. It went to spam. It went to spam. Yeah. Okay, hold on a minute. I can fix this. Yeah, no, to Barb. It went to spam. Let me get it. Not spam. All right. Sorry about that, Beth. It went to spam. Let me go over here and let you get in. Hang on. Barb Olson. Help, help me get in. Oh, Beth is, I already got it. She's got it. They both have it. Now we just have to wait for them to get into the thing and then we will be signing off. Great. Scooter? Yes? I love you. <laughs> Scooter? Oh, I do you know why I love you? Video, you're making her blush. Do you know why I love you, Scooter? Yes, for Do you know why I love you, Scooter? Huh? Do you know why he loves you, Scooter? No, I don't. If my grandmama ever answered me, why? <laughs> what? Scooter, do you know why I love you? Why? Why? Oh, you like because you read me bedtime stories when nobody else in this whole entire world will. <laughs> nobody in this whole oh, entire world. Here's Barb Olsen, our another Canadian. Read me bedtime stories. No, we're just waiting on Beth. Yes, who and there's will. Beth. Is that Beth. Okay, there's so Beth. we're going to sign off tonight. Thank you so much. And if you want to come, the numbers are on the community tab. Don't feel you can come in a little late. Just when you come yeah, in, just mute. In. If you come okay. in late, if you come in the middle of the movie, mute. Thank you. Yeah, okay. You. Thank, Thank you, everyone, everybody, for coming, and we will love you, and yeah. we'll see you later. Okay. Uh, Goodbye yeah, now. <laughs> love you for the movie. Okay. Now let me.